Um, so these girls have worked really hard since, um, well, in between April and July this year, working towards this project. Uh, the project was about, well, what we, choose, what we chose as a group, we chose an eco-factory. It wasn't something they found easy to begin with, but they really persevered and through the hard times they came out and I was so proud of them because um, not only did they um, produce a really good project and a good report, but then they went on and won um, Best Report and beat 13 other schools to win it. So that's why I nominated them. So we chose it because we thought it'd be more challenging than the others. And the reason why we chose an eco-factory is because there's not many eco-factories around in the world. They had to decide what they were going to produce, how it was going to be powered, how it was going to be heated, lighting, um, and every different aspect that um, a factory um, involves. Day by day our environment is getting more worse so if we were to plan maybe we could build it one day. And they did this through researching themselves, they went into um, the Axa Noble factories which was the company that we were paired with um, and then they put all their ideas together and decided as a group what the best solutions were. Um, we gathered all our resources and we built a model and the model turned out great. Although at the beginning they maybe didn't know each other that well, they really built um, relationships with each other. When we used to speak to each other, at first, no one used to listen to each other. We would always talk over each other, no one would take each other's ideas. But as we went further along, um, we progressed in our speaking and we took turns in speaking and we took everyone's ideas and then at last we voted. Um, and they worked together um, as a team and that really uh, helped them look good and I think because of the the journey that they went on so where they came to at the end was what really made them stand out.